Now, take a listen to this. That's a clip of the extremely popular Chinese period TV drama, The Story of Yanxi Palace, a story of love, intrigue and concubines, currently drawing in over one billion viewers across China and Southeast Asia. Some Chinese fans eager to watch the next episode before it's aired are rushing to a Vietnamese streaming site, but they're faced with one awkward question before they can gain access. Our China media analyst Kerry Allen told me all about it. Well, if they want to watch one of these episodes, before they can watch it, um, a screen comes up saying you have to answer some security questions to prove that you're not a robot, for example. Um, and uh, and four questions, um, some of them are about Vietnam, for example, what, what is the capital of Vietnam? But then there's this question about the South China Sea, which is um, the Parasol and the Spratly Islands belong to which country? Now, if people who are accessing this video answer China, they get the answer, this is incorrect, you have three more attempts. And if they keep on answering China, they won't be able to watch the show. So this question, uh, it's clearly not there by... um accident is it it doesn't appear so at all yes it's unusual for chinese people to go to a a different website one that's not a chinese website in order to access a chinese drama but this tv program the story of yenji palace has been the hit of the summer the hit of the year practically each episode's had over 100 million views Uh, china does want to promote more of its dramas to east asian regions so that it can be in the future, a leader in entertainment, it can it can almost rival Hollywood. That that's why it's been trying to kind of um, ask other countries to broadcast these dramas. But uh, but for Vietnam to be screening episodes ahead of the China, the Chinese uh, media screening them, that is actually quite embarrassing. But this is really guaranteed to annoy the Chinese authorities, isn't it? I mean, how has this come about? I think a lot of Chinese people are asking that. Um, they're uh, they're quite surprised that this is so brazen. Um, I mean, bear in mind in China, um, this is a very, very contentious issue as it is in Vietnam. Uh, the Chinese government is often promoting propaganda that says um, the South China Sea is China's, nothing less, nothing more. And, uh, and Chinese people believe that the areas like the Paracel Islands and the Spratly Islands, which are disputed areas, uh, belong to China and that Vietnam doesn't even have a claim on them. And, uh, and a lot of the comments online are reflected of that. People are horrified and they're saying, I might actually boycott watching this series. And so for the, the viewing public, I mean, they just want to see their drama. Are they just holding their noses and, and, and clicking the button that they don't want to click in order to get through? Well, some people are saying no, that they're, they're actually just going to wait for the episodes, but other people have been checking and they've been saying it is credible, but actually they feel that the version on the Vietnamese website, the quality's not that good. Kerry Allen.